everybody, welcome back. We're with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I'm going to talk to you about this weekend's fishing forecast. We're going to talk about the weather, we're going to talk about the winds, and we are going to talk about the bite. Typically, I do this beginning of every week, Sunday, Monday. I'll do it for my Patreons, and I'll add it on my Patreon page. But today, I want to share it with you guys, because you know what? This weekend, it's going to be a good one. Before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Like the video, leave a comment, share the video. It all helps. It all helps. Sharing is caring. All right, so real quick, you know, the, we've had... We've had some really tough weather here. Uh, the rain, the wind. I went out the other day and I got blown all over the place. I got rained on. It was 30 degrees and I didn't even get a bite. I, I was hoping to really get on the fish because there's a few spots that I go to during the winter time that, that really typically hold fish. And I didn't catch a lot of them. But this particular day, I just think it was just too fresh. We had too much water, too much fresh water, too much runoff in the area I was fishing. So, sorry guys, no catching this week, but it's all good, right? So, this weekend, today, right now, it is beautiful outside. It is like, I think it's like close to 60 degrees, and this weekend, it's going to get warmer. We're going to get the south winds, and it's going to be a very, very fishy weekend. So that's why I wanted to get on here and share that information with you all. All right, so let's start off at the with the weather here in Galveston. This is a 10-day forecast, but you can see right here on Friday, it is 17-mile-an-hour wind, so it's a little windy right now, but it's going to calm down as the day goes on. So we're getting about 17. You can see Saturday, temperature 56, 50. 50 Saturday, 61 degrees is the high, mostly sunny. The sun is out right now. We have a high pressure system that's kind of moving in, moving out throughout the area, leaving our area, and that's going to kick the wind up out of the south. So east winds and then east, southeast on Sunday. But look at this. This is what I want. This is what I am talking about. 61, 64, 65, 66. We run into a little bit of showers here on Tuesday, and we do have a little bit of uh, wind pick back up. But I'm excited. I am excited. I'm excited for this weekend. I'm excited for all you. So I hope that you are out this weekend. And I hope that you really get on the fish because this is really, really promising. So switching over to Wind Finder. Right now in Galveston is gusting. And I, I have West Bay selected. But it's gusting around or actually blowing around 15 mile an hour winds. Uh, the Weather Channel said it was blowing 17. 15, 17 is pretty close. So let's look at as the day goes on. So it goes down to 13. And you kind of see the direction that the wind's going. This is why I like Wind Finder. I really like Wind Finder because you can see the direction that it's going. And you can pretty much pick and, and select any kind of area that you want. Just tap on it. And this is a site. Wind Finder is a site. They also have an app. Nine miles an hour at three o'clock. Look at that. Wind is going down. It's going to get, oh, the water is going to warm up. The wind is going down. The fish are going to start biting. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So at 9 tonight, northeast winds, 9 miles an hour. So let's look at tomorrow morning. It's Saturday, right? That's what everybody wants to know. What is going on this weekend? Saturday, the wind switches out of the east. It's 12 miles an hour at 6 in the morning. Then it goes down to 10. Then it goes, down to, then it goes back up to 12. 9 at 3. At 6 is going to be 10. Let's look at Sunday. Sunday is going to be the day. Oh, my gosh. Southeast wind, 6 miles an hour. What? Yes, my man. That's what I'm talking about. Wind is finally chilling out. 6 miles an hour at 9. Sunday, 12 o'clock, 7 miles an hour, 7 miles an hour. And let's, I mean, it's not the weekend, but let's skip to Monday because there's a few of us that will fish on Mondays, right? Monday's my favorite day to fish, let me tell you. Ain't nobody Ain't nobody on the water. Okay, so 6 a.m., 9 miles an hour on Monday morning. 12, you can start seeing it starts to pick up a little bit. Something's going on out there, but this weekend is looking great. Saturday morning, 10, Sunday morning, 9. Woo! I'm telling you, I am telling you. So the next site I'm going to show you is tidesforfishing.com. It is actually a website. I do have it saved on my phone, have it saved on my home screen. Home screen. So every time I click on 
the button it takes me straight to there but i love ties for fishing okay this is going to show you the the bite it's going to show you it can show you the barometric pressure it has winds on there it has a whole bunch of information on there for you to use i have pre-selected jamaica beach west bay it's kind of the area we're looking at with the wind friday the third that is today now you have settings where you can pick all around the world, North America, United States, Texas. You can go on Texas and, and, and wherever they have the settings and the readings, you can look and, and select those areas or nearby areas. But you can look today. Today is kind of a, a tough bite day at sunrise. You know, we are close to a full moon, like I said. So right around low tide, outgoing tide all day, but nice, good tide movement. So if you look down here, it's going to show you where the major bite feeding was today. And by this time, we've already passed 12 o'clock. So in the evening, overnight time, it's always a good idea to go and, and fish during the evening during these moon phases where you have the full moon. So we're going to skip over to Saturday. What is going on Saturday? Jamaica Beach, West Bay. A little bit of a bite. Remember, it can be a little tricky. It can be a little tricky after the sun comes up because we're around a full moon, but very active. Look at this outgoing tide. Very active. Incoming tide kicks back up again overnight. Big bite again. I mean, Saturday is going to be really fishy all day. You can look down here where it has the major and minor bite periods very high activity 10 56 a.m to 12 56 p.m another major bite activity between 11 15 p.m and 1 15 a.m and then you also have high fishing activity and another activity i mean it is going to be a very very fishy weekend all day saturday sunday is going to even even be more of a bite you can see huge bite forecast sunday morning it is going to be on fire it's going to be on i'm telling you stick around don't leave don't go home too early another major bite feeding at 125 for the jamaica beach west bay area it is going to be on fire another uh, again sunset bite boom overnight bite oh my gosh i mean it is on 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 you can you i'm excited i'm really excited about it warm weather low winds high bite forecast i mean and and you know what and i don't i use i use the bite forecast as a measuring stick it doesn't mean i'm only going to go out when we have a high bite activity i go out no matter what and but it just kind of lets me know kind of what to expect when i am going out so when i when the fish are feeding like this it is it is a definite it is a must have must go out if you're not seeing that fish activity keep going keep looking keep looking you're gonna find them monday morning great bite again overnight bite low tide so when you have the tide change an hour before, an hour after, it doesn't matter, matter whether it's high tide or low tide. When you have that major tide change, it's always going to be fishy. It's always going to be fish out there. Monday morning, I know it's kind of looking far into next week or going into next week. Not quite the weekend, but I love fishing on Monday. There is nobody out there. Nobody. Ain't nobody out there on Monday mornings. That is a great, great, great time to be out there if you are available. But hey, don't forget, all right, so winter time. So the water's going to be cooler. The, the fish can be a little slower sometimes. So sometimes you have to really slow down that retrieve. A lot of times the fish are down there, bellying down in the mud. The reds, even trout, flounder, they're all down there in the mud, feeding a little bit on the bait. You got to slow it down. Maybe make a smaller uh, presentation give it give the fish smaller presentation go with the smaller lure something lighter something that's gonna fall a little slower let it sit on the bottom twitch it up let it slowly fall back to the bottom twitch it up let it slowly fall back to the bottom you know because a lot of times you know the fish are just reluctant to bite they're they're cold they get down there but this weekend I think is gonna be <laughs> It's going to be good, and that's why I'm doing this fishing report for you guys, because I want to encourage you, if you have the opportunity to go out this weekend, whether it's this evening or Saturday or Sunday or even Monday, go out, get on the fish. You can't catch anything sitting at home. So tell the missus, tell your mama, tell whoever you got to tell, call into the boss, tell them your arm's going to be in a cast, and you're going to be out there on the water getting busy. But hey, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, Please go ahead and do so. If you like content like this and planning out your week, kind of like how I do, 
then join Patreon today because I drop this like every Sunday, every Monday. I drop it on for my Patreon so my Patreons can check it out and plan out their week and hopefully encourage them to go out and try to encourage myself too, especially when it's like 30 degrees. It's like hard to get out there, but you know, I still do it. I still try to get out there so I can make great content for you all. But thanks again. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.